All right, folks, welcome back. This is Rodney right now, and uh, what we are working on is this thing right there. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna call it, but it is a, it's a lumen glass. And now what this baby does is this is like straight off of a Borg cube. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to light up and just look like it's like supposed to be in the Borg. But it came in and it just ain't working. And so what we did was we did a little bit, we little bit of troubleshooting. And uh, folks, we figured this thing out. And I, right now, Rodney, this guy looking right there, he is gonna show you how this is done, just in case you're wondering. Now, what we did was we started right from the beginning. And we took this here cable and we tested it at, at that there junction box right there. And, and we was getting voltage, so that was good. And it plugged into that hole right there. And that connection was good. And so we traced it back and we checked out these two transistors right there. And them babies, just in case you don't know, them is the tip 41C. Now, when I say just the tip, we did two just two tips on this one, okay? But but it was just the tip, tip four to three or whatever I just said. All right, so moving on. We changed those out and we got, we got nothing. It still just wasn't working. And so we dug a little bit deeper and we started looking at this. Oh, sorry, nope. We checked out this switch and it works. I ain't gonna show you how, because if you don't know how, you're not you're watching the wrong video. This is showing you how to fix this when you run into a wall and I busted through. All right, so we tested the switch and it was good. And we tested it by testing it. Okay, then we went through this pot here. Now this ain't the kind of pot that you can go out back and get arrested for. Um, this is the kind of pot that will make this uh, Borg disc really cool. So we tested them and they tested real good too. So then we went on further and then we tested the, the tip and we tested just the tip on both sides. And then was, we, we actually replaced them because we were getting some funky, like not quite certain. So we replaced them and we're like, yeehaw, this is gonna work. And no, we was wrong. Then we continued on and we finally took a look at this right here. And that is a transformer. Now that is not a transformer like in the movies. That is a transformer like in electronics. Here is the bad ombre that we took off. And look at the hole in that. That baby looked like it has seen a little too much love. And that hole is just flat burned out. So what we did was we went on a hunt. Now if you notice, there is not a single mark on this here transformer that tells me what this is. Don't worry, folks. I'm going to tell you how I figured it out. But we got we got this bad ombre off, and we looked at him, and we are like, oh, my Lord. And then we spent two and a half months looking to find a replacement for this guy. And guess what, folks? We found it. You're looking at it right there. Now, that 28K089 number, I don't know how important that is, but let me show you what I got here. Here is the technical specifications on that bad boy. And it tells us what we got. Now, I ordered two of them because I didn't know. We ordered a little guy. He's got less windings. And then we ordered the big guy with more windings. And it turns out it's the big guy. So if you're like, oh my God, what transformer? That's it right there. You can pause the screen, take a look at it. There's all the specifications and even where I bought it from. So you can buy one of your own if you're working on one of these. Pretty cool, all the dimensions, all the schematics, and all the sine wave stuff. So, right folks, now, let me just show you one quick little test. We're gonna plug this boy in, and we're gonna see what happens. Now you gotta be ever so gentle when you're working with high voltage, because this stuff can kill you quicker than the police can if you're in Southern Georgia. All right, so here we go, we're gonna just Gently hold the pot, and we are gonna stick, or just slip that little mama right in that hole. Oh, oh yeah, oh it slipped in good. Now, it, right there's a button and it tells me I got a manhole and I got an auto. We are gonna go for manhole, and we will click it. Oh, hot damn, oh yeah, look at that. That son of a bit is what I am talking about, I feel, I am bored, I will, I will assimilate you, you are just, gonna serve me i am bored exterminate exterminate mah, mah, mah. okay well enough of that folks so what we're gonna do now is we are gonna just reassemble this here whole baby and then we are gonna just feel what it feels like to be a borg all right we're gonna high speed this one
All right, folks. So if you'll notice right there, I got three screws. Now, the problem is, is this requires a couple more than three. Now, we gotta find some screws because this was not riding his, he was not the first person to play with this. I ended up being like the second or third. Um, but naturally, Rodney, that's me. I'm the guy who gets this stuff figured out. So we are gonna hunt down a couple here screwy Louis that look a little bit like this so we can screw that motherboard proper. All right, there is a baggy full of screw. Right there, that is a lot of screwing. All right. It looks like these here screws is gonna work, folks. Looks like they are gonna work. All right, now we gotta just put the... Sorry. All right, now we just gotta put the last couple screws on this here. We are gonna just tuck this piece of insulating paper. Ah. What are you stuck to? Oh, look at that. Let's try this here screw. See if that sucker is going to work. That is not going to work. That head is too big. That little guy might work. All right, we got two more screws. Looking good. All right, now we are done screwing. It is time to stand this baby up and give it the old testeroo. See if what we have done is a working. All right, in 10. Nan, I'm just kidding. Let's just plug her in. Here we go, folks. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, hallelujah. We are Borg. Resistance is futile. Exterminate, exterminate. Well, folks. I think we can safely say that we have done plum fix this mother trucker. We're gonna go to auto and we'll touch and we'll touch. Oh man, that is right there. Just the bluest, coolest thing it I have ever fixed. Right there, baby. Oh yeah. So if you are working on the lumen glass and it looks a little bit something like this and it just is dead as a doornail, dead as grandma in the grave and you need to fix it it just very well could be some little puppy just like that now you got to make sure you get the higher voltage one and that would be that guy right there so just in case you needed it to fix it that is my guy and uh that is where i bought it and no i ain't getting paid by them so don't be asking me if i'm gonna give good referrals i'm just giving referrals all right, folks, just once again, we have another success and just want to say thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to join the collective by clicking thumbs up and liking it. All right.